Jeremy, I have a question for you, boyo. You seem to have not included some stocks on your VT versus your stock tracker. And it's really starting to piss me off. Woo! Nobody's around, alright. Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. My name is Christopher Belly. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm a long-term boglehead investor. I'm author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon! And I got a question for old Jeremy Foo Foo. Now, I'm quickly becoming the greatest nemesis that J Jeremy Financial Education has ever faced. You know, I started off my YouTube channel about a year and a half, maybe almost two years ago. And I grew really, 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 really slowly because no one wants to hear about index funds. Everybody wants to hear about Kathy Wood. Speech, bro. Just about to And now, everything that I have said is coming to fruition. And one of the greatest uh, analyses I ever did, this is really hard to do, by the way, was I looked at old Jeremy LaFoufou, Jeremy Financial Education, Jeremy LaFave, and I saw that his portfolio was full of freaking trash, overvalued, disgusting trash. So I've been saying over these last months and years, Jeremy Financial Education is going to be selling his butt. And what has happened, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Jeremy's stocks are down massively. So Jeremy quickly noticed Strongman. And he really, he really and I'm, I'm referring to myself in the third person. Call lawyer. And I really noticed that uh, he started to really get affected by what I was saying. Number one, obviously, because his stocks went down just like I said they would because they're unprofitable, share diluting trash. And number two, he made a VT, the Vanguard Total World Stock Market Index ETF, which contains about 40, 45% international stocks, which have underperformed recently, but I think will outperform going in the future. And the rest US. He made a VT versus his stock tracker. So I looked at it and VT's down five, six, seven percent over the last couple of months since like late February. His stocks are down freaking massively. Now, number one, never forget, Jeremy put those stocks on there and compared it to my delicious VT after his stocks had already sold off massively. So in his little pea brain, his little squirrel brain, he was like, well, stocks always go up. And because my stocks went down more than VT, they will go up faster than VT. Now go look at that freaking tracker. He is getting freaking wrecked, absolutely, utterly, disgustingly annihilated. And I think he has more to fall. But you know what really, really pisses me off? I noticed that Tesla stock was not on there. Now, if go look at Jeremy's portfolio. He actually revealed it. Oh, I'm starting to sweat. I'm actually going to turn my car on. Woo! I'm dying. I'll turn on my Tesla. You're my Tesla. You like my Tesla. So anyway, you go look at uh, Jeremy's portfolio, which he just released, showing all his losses. And it's pretty crazy because, and this is 100% true, all of his gains, all of them, the only reason he's in the green is because of the Tesla stock. And you go watch his other videos, he actually agrees with me. He thinks La Tesla is probably going to crash massively. I don't know when. He doesn't know when. I mean, he, he claims he can predict the future, but I, nobody can do that. But one thing I do know is that Tesla stock is massively overvalued. And people are pricing in all sorts of stupid promises by Elon Musk. And once people realize it's just a luxury car company, you know, just like BMW or, you know, you know, it's competing with Lexus, stuff like that. Their actual market is a lot smaller than you people think it is. Okay. I know you people think everybody can afford a Tesla because they, they can produce them, but people have to buy them. Remember that. So Jeremy completely excluded Tesla stock from his tracker. So number one, he's manipulating because he's saying, oh, see, I, I'm going to put my stocks on there after they already sold off. And then I'm going to crush strongman personal finance. And now he's excluding Tesla. Now, why is he doing this? Because Tesla has a massive amount of room to fall. And I'm talking freaking enormously massive. That stock could irrationally sell off to $100, $50. Who freaking knows? Because what's going to happen is they're going to miss revenue. May not be this quarter, next quarter, the quarter after. 
But I guarantee you, this 50% projection that Elon Musk is telling you, year over year, is stupid. It's freaking stupid. You look at the total luxury car market, not even close to what Tesla is saying they're going to take over. There is no freaking way Tesla is going to take over the entire luxury auto market in the next five years. Maybe in six years. <laughs> so Jeremy, this freaking little disgusting lot, is he a liar? He's a degenerate. I'll give him that. I'll be, I'll be a little bit nicer to him. This little manipulator excludes Tesla. Because if he put Tesla on there, he's going to get freaking wrecked. What else is missing? Uh, Nordic American tankers? Hmm. How's that going for you, Jeremy LaFufu? What else is missing? Uh, what else did he freaking buy? There was a stock I had in mind. Voyager. Is Voyager on there? Voyager got freaking wrecked. I don't think Voyager's on there. Uh, what else did he freaking forget? There's one other stock. Very good food company. Oh my God. Oh, of course he was all bullish on very good food company. Sync has connected to your he phone. doesn't know how to read financial statements. And he didn't realize that they were going to run out of cash and have to dilute the shareholders, which is exactly what they did. And very good food company got annihilated. So of course he excludes that as well. Look guys. Just think about what I've been saying, okay? I sit around, I go to work, I make YouTube videos. I'm gonna start going to the beach once it opens very, very soon. I do things that I like to do in my free time. But you know what I don't have to do? I don't have to sit around and stress about stupid individual stocks. I don't have to worry about whether I should buy more international or US. I buy the world and I let the world sort itself out. It's as simple as that. I have zero stress about my investments. I don't care if VT's down, what, since it's highs, 15, 20%, something like that. I don't care. I'm not selling VT for 30, 40, 50 years, or maybe even never. Maybe I'll pass it on to my kids as long as they're not losers when they get older. So you could do that, like what I'm doing, and just dollar cost average into a total world index fund and tax advantage accounts. Or you could pay Jeremy LaFoufart up to $20,000 to sit around, watch your portfolio get wrecked and just stress out constantly. This is a freaking joke, okay? The fact that he put that VT versus his stock tracker proves nothing. Even if his stocks somehow rebound, even if they somehow outperform quote unquote VT over the next couple of years, he started that tracker when he was down massively. So keep that in mind, the guy's a clown. I don't understand why his channel keeps growing. I don't freaking get it. Can somebody explain to me how this guy who has no idea what he's doing is not entertaining in the slightest and buys a bunch of trash stocks can have his channel keep growing and growing. Can someone please explain that to me? Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna go eat lunch and I'll probably pump out some more videos later tonight. Talk to you later. Cheers.